Hey guys, what is up? My name is Chris, aka the one Chris83, and this is a review of the Rev Power Night Rider. Now, this product, what it is, pretty much is a big battery that's gonna allow you to charge up any mobile devices that use USB to get power from. So, really quick, this is 14,000 milliamps, so yes, it's a big capacity device. A lot of power for a lot of charge. Now, it also roughly weighs around 10 ounces. Um, also, you get 500 charging cycles, meaning you can charge this up 500 times before the battery doesn't perform as good as it did when you first got it. It also comes with a carrying pouch, two USB cords that spring, like so they're not too long and of course you can extend it. Also, the tip on it, you can change to a micro, a mini, a 30 pin for your Apple or Android, and a Nokia <clears throat> pin. And when you take a close look at the device, it has a nice matte finish, silver around, or gray, technically. You have a little nice button indicator right there, lets you know how much power you have left. When you hold the indicator, it activates the flashlight, like so. Now, on the bottom, you have two USB ports. The first one being for your low capacity, the second being for your high capacity, like your tablet, or your Note 2, stuff like that, your Note 3, or whatever you might have now your flashlight, and your micro. Now the micro right here is to charge up the actual device. It takes roughly around 12 hours to fully charge from the device being dead. The indicator light will turn off when it's fully charged. Now of course I had to do some testing on this device and what I tested it on was my Note 2 and my iPod Touch 5th generation. Now both devices, I fully killed them from being powered off to 100% both devices twice and this was able to fully charge it with a nice charge output, meaning it didn't take too long to fully charge and I was able to get 100% around the same time as a wall outlet. And it still had around roughly 50%, it has two indicator lights still active, meaning it was roughly 50 to 26% with battery. So that's pretty good actually, because again, the Note 2, it has a 3000 milliamp battery roughly, a little over, and the iPod Touch has a little over a thousand. Now where it didn't perform, because it didn't perform one part, was charging up the Note 2 and the iPod Touch 5th generation. Um, both devices really struggled to get power, especially the Note 2. It went from 20% to 50% in three and a half hours. When it was charged by itself, by that time, it will be fully charged. So that was kind of disappointing. Also the iPod Touch within that time period wasn't fully charged, where it would have been fully charged a long time ago from that point. So again, it just seemed like when you have a high capacity and low capacity device, it just struggles, it's too much. It, you know, that's why this only can really charge up a tablet a few times because it loses a lot of power through the charging process. But now charging up a iPhone and a touch, fifth generation, no problem because again, the battery of both devices are under 3000 milliamps. So bottom line is, do I recommend this product right here? I gotta say, yes, it does perform. It gives you a lot of power for such a small device that easily could fit in your purse, your book bag, your you know backpack for your, your bag for your laptop or whatnot. It's not too big. So bottom line, should you get it? It really depends on you as a consumer. If you have a lot of people when you're traveling with mobile devices, uh, if you're on the go like a construction worker, messenger, if you do a lot of business outdoors, like going building to building or whatnot, then yes, if you can't get to a wall outlet for a long period of time to charge up your devices, this definitely might be the way to go. You can easily put this in your back pocket while your phone is charging on your belt clip. It's just very convenient. But again, it really depends on you as a consumer if you, found, if you find yourself using this multiple times a week. So again, if you're interested in picking this up, I'll put the link to their website and also the Amazon where you can purchase this. Uh, normally, Amazon is the best way to go. It's a lot cheaper. Uh, so yeah, I'll put those links in the description down below. And yeah, guys, that is the Rev Power Night Rider reviewed. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like rating. It helps me out a lot to get this video promoted. Also, leave a comment down below what you think about it. Have you ever used one of their products? And what was your experience? And yeah, that's pretty much about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Your boy, the one Chris A3. Catch you in the next video. Peace.